need a basic white bodycon dress. This one is from American Apparel. Any sort of white tracing paper, some clay tools, scissors, exacto knives, some various size brushes, some permanent markers. Um, I'd say get thin and thick, and then some a pen and pencil to trace. You also need some screen printing ink in both black and white. Some cardboard so you can make your patterns. And I'd say a large piece of foam core. Um, you can get this from any art store. It's about $2-$3. First thing you want to do is find any sort of reference of Stormtroopers outfits. There's a few various costumes out there. So you just find books um, for helmets and bodysuits. What you're going to want to do is take your large piece of foam core and cut out a, a large form for your dress. You want to make sure that it's a bit bigger than the actual dress so it stretches because when you paint on it, um, if you don't stretch it out first, it's going to crack the paint. So then you want to take your pieces of cardboard. Um, you can buy large pieces anywhere. Um, mine are already pre-cut, but what you want to do is kind of trace the body shape of where your black parts of the dress are going to be. So as you see, I've got you know the leg parts and then the waist for the belt and the shoulder pieces for the arm guards, the chest piece, just outlined so that I know where the black part is going to be. Once you get that all aligned up, then you're going to get to painting and stenciling. So next what you want to do is just create the outline of where the black part should be. I like to use a thick black permanent marker and just kind of go through and line all the spots where the general shape will be. You can do it very loosely, so once you have it uncovered, you can go ahead and go back in and just use your black paint and paint in that spot. It's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes for each parts of the paint to dry, so you kind of want to go slowly. Um, if you make a mistake like here, I've got a black smudge, that's why you have the white paint. You can just go ahead and paint over it. Um, in this case, it's a little bit darker than the dress, so I would go in and just paint just the entire square so they all kind of look purposeful. Um, but that's just how you do it, and you'll wait about 10-15 minutes to do it as well. Then after that, you're going to want to flip over once the entire dress is dry. This part I just kind of freehand and just kind of connect all of the black parts in the back and then just use your stencil and do the same thing for the white parts. So now that we have the dresses done, um, we want to kind of add that helmet element. So using your references, you're just going to need some foamies or craft foam in white and black. Um, in my case, I couldn't find any black, so I just painted it black. You can paint it with just regular textile paint. Um, paper for a pattern, some cardboard, and of course your cutting tools, pen, and permanent markers. I just went ahead and made a pattern in Illustrator. Just three layers for the actual mask. You have the base, you have the gas mask part, and then just the de details. Um, with that, you're going to go ahead and print that out, cut it out into your cardboard pieces, which are just these three pieces. You have the base, the gas mask, and I just cut out a few of the details. Um, you're not going to need to cut out the really small details. You can add that in with just regular permanent marker. Okay, so using your cardboard, you're just going to go ahead and lay it over the craft foam. Um, using your pen, just kind of trace over all the parts um, so you'll have something like this. Cut them out, you'll have the two large pieces and with the details you're going to want to cut it out of the black foam. And once you get all those parts settled, you're just going to hot glue them one on top of the other and then go back in with the permanent marker and then you know draw the circular details. So once you've got your pieces layered and your details drawn in, it'll look like this. And just to make sure that it adheres, you know, and clips into your hair, you just want any sort of alligator clip, and you can get these just anywhere, any sort of craft store, and hot glue it to the back, and then you'll have something to adhere to.